Research books, movies, music. That's what typically comes to mind when you think of what public libraries have to offer. But over the years, they've taken on a new role in the community. And librarians say it's one that's here to stay. Traditionally, libraries have been, um, you want to learn more? Come check out a book. Now it's more, how can we help you? How can we help your quality of life? A librarian for nearly 30 years, Siders has worked for several branches in Cincinnati. He noticed a change in customer needs after the 2008 recession. That's when I would start to see folks of all demographics coming into our libraries, spending more time on our computers, uh, job searching. As poverty rates increased, the Cincinnati Public Library noticed people needed help with more than just books. So they changed their customer service model. We encouraged staff and kind of changed expectations for staff to move well beyond the traditional reference desk and be out on the floor. Anthony Bates comes to the library nearly every day. He's noticed the difference. Another thing I, I really like is the change that they have made here at this library. It's a beautiful uh, change. Karina Cool spends most of her time working directly with patrons. Her job is anything but an ordinary desk job. Because they usually say, wow, you're so lucky you get to sit around and read books all day, which never happens and has to be the most cliched thing. The work that I get to do is actually way more rewarding and always a surprise when I talk about it. Cool has used the library her entire life, but her five and a half years here have shown her how people use the library in unexpected ways. There's all of these other little human needs um, that happen every day that the library can help with. Cool organizes opportunities for social service agencies to engage with customers experiencing homelessness. When Joseph McCulley was homeless, he relied on the library for a break from the streets. It's like when you go outside and you have to lay your head down, it's like, where are you going to lay your head down? But you know that the next day you're going to come to the library and you're going to get on that computer and you're going to use it. The library keeps an updated soup kitchen calendar on hand for its guests. Cool says sometimes it's hard to close the doors at night. We have people who are here every day. They depend on us to be here. It's, it's hard to watch people go out into the cold um, and not know what's going to happen to them. Equity of accessibility is a big part of the library's mission. And as societal demands evolve, so does the role of a librarian. For Ciders, libraries are no longer just about library cards and late fees. And he's hoping it stays that way. We're not diminishing the value of books, but we're enhancing our services. So sometimes it's not read a book on this. It's You might want to connect with this community organization and see what resources are available for you. For Nine on Your Side, I'm Emily Maxwell.